In this video, we're going to have a look at the upgrades between the DFR551Z and the DFR550Z. On the outside of the unit, the ergonomics of the new 551 is a lot nicer than the old version which took the motor weight forwards. On the outside of the unit, the 551 is now brushless, but we now have a push button to keep the trigger on permanently. Whereas this one doesn't have the push button, it just has the indent in the plastic mould. To take this unit off, we've got a nice push button trigger here. On this one, you undo the butterfly bolt and then slide the unit off. The overall dimension from the back of the tool to the front of the tool and the back of the tool to the front of the tool, this one is very slightly smaller. Another noticeable difference on the screw mechanism, on the 551, we have a smaller head on it so that you can get into tighter areas and you can also get within 15 millimetres of the wall. On this one, on the inside, we have two metal clasping fingers that the screw pushes through, which holds it in place. On the 551, we don't have the metal fingers at all and it actually makes the screws go into the wall a lot better. So they have definitely upgraded the trigger items a lot more. Another noticeable difference between the two, on the 550 you can go from a flush finish to a proud finish so that you can finish it off manually. On the 551 you can go from countersunk to proud which is a lot better if you want to actually sink your screws below the surface slightly. To take the bit out on the 550 there's a rubber cover here which you push down and pull your piece out and put it back in again. On the 550 it's all metal work now you push the metal work down and slide your piece back in again. In the feel of the hand the 550 feels a lot more front heavy even once you've got the battery on the back of it compared to the new 551 which just feels nicer on your wrist. Another upgrade that we have on the 551 we have a D button. Now to turn this on you push the trigger quickly and then press the D button. This does auto start so you don't actually have to use the trigger to put the screws in you just bump fire them in. In my previous video I bought the 551 from fastfix.co.uk who I can highly recommend to deal with. Their customer service is fantastic. And I was going to be sending it back until I received the 550 and the actual upgrades on the 551 are worth waiting for the new bits to come out because it just feels so much nicer when you're using it. The difference between the bits, as I stated in my previous video, the 550 bits have a 5mm shank on 157mm length. The new 551 shanks are 4.5mm and the actual length is 155mm. So they've actually shortened the length as well by 2mm. These new pieces will be available from April. So what I've decided to do, the job that I bought the 551 for, that I was meant to be doing today, I've postponed it for a month until I can get the new pieces because I think the 551 upgrade is worth going for. This shows the angle of the screws going in quite tightly on the old 550 model. This shows the smoother angle that the feed has now on the new design. It comes along and then goes horizontal before gently curving back up again. Also, you don't have the handle on the bottom getting in the way so you can get into a tighter gap with the new machine. Another noticeable difference is the belt clip, which is vertical on this one and set in position. You can have it on either side, but on the new 551, you have their traditional belt clip, 
which actually holds the unit at an angle so it actually sits better on your belt clip when you have it on your side. Personally, I can highly recommend going for the Makita DFR551Z. This is the machine that I will be keeping myself and I'm sending back the 550 because the design upgrades are actually very good. It's just a shame they didn't actually bring out the bits to be supplied at the same time as the machine. When I do the job that I've purchased this for, I'll do some video of it in action and show you the reason that I kept the 551. I hope this video has been useful for people. Thank you for watching and subscribing. I'll leave a link in the description below to fastfix.co.uk.